Okay, so now we're going to make a lacto fermentation, but with dry brine instead of a wet brine. So I've got whatever was left over from the, the three, four jars that I've made. Uh, put it in this little glass thing. I'm going to add some Szechuan pepper. I'm going to get some chilies as well, which I need to get from here. So, uh, yes, yeah, so add some chili. Obviously, it's not essential unless you're me, in which case it's essential. Um, it will work without chili. Um, and then again, in this case, because it's a dry brine, you actually want a little bit more salt than with a wet brine. So it's typically about, I think, something like 10%, something like that. But again, I'm going to go by eye. And in this case, I'm going to use fine salt. Uh, you can use the, the bigger grains, but um, I find this will, this will just help break it down much, much, much quicker. So in it goes. Uh, it can help if you massage it a little bit, but again, it's not really necessary. You just want to really make sure that, um, that the salt has touched all of them. And that's it. You then just put it away. So what I do, just to swap the flies and stuff, I'll just put a, a lid or something on it. And just leave it like that for four or five days. Again, you just look at it, you'll see the juices coming out of it. You'll see that it's really softened. And that's it. It's ready. So another really simple one.